Since we've already determined that we can make a raft that can circle the universe in an instant, let's find one that can beat the game in 5 minutes. Which is probably going to look a little more comprehensive than this. I think the best way to determine what we're going to need for parts is to find our way to the first quest island. So the first thing we need to do is find blueprints in a barrel. So with just a little luck, we are not going to find it and my raft has already left me behind. Do you think it's pointed in the right direction? It is! Wait, 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 wait. Okay, I didn't find the blueprints in the three barrels I checked. Luckily, I have mods, so we can skip that part. To start, I want to keep the base of the raft as small as possible. That way, it moves as quick as possible. And that way, it's easier to maneuver. There's our new little setup. We get away with that again because of mods. And of course, we're pointed in entirely the wrong direction. I'm going to go ahead and move my steering wheel. We're going to point ourselves toward the quest, and then we're going to go full speed ahead until we get there. I think it was about 1,500 meters away, so that won't take us long at all at this speed. And then once we're there, we can start to decide exactly how big of a raft we're going to need to make this quick. One thing before we get there. Gonna need something that's able to stop us. There's still 900 meters? Luckily for us, we can make ourselves as fast as we want to go, so let's double our speed. Alright, so now when we want to get to where we're going, we're going to get there a little bit faster. You can see the <laughs> thing moving on the map already, so we're going to shut the engines off pretty quick probably about here and let us drift there's our target uh instead of that let's just drop the anchor here and that worked actually not bad the key with most of these quest islands is normally you need to find your way onto them and then parkour your way to the top and around them but i'm kind of hoping we can just have a raft that you basically walk onto the thing with or above it so i'm gonna readjust myself carefully just a little then for now we're at least going to build onto this this isn't the biggest of the islands but this will give us kind of an idea of how big we do need to go we actually could in theory just build ladders endlessly then when we're close enough we could probably hop onto whatever we're going for because it really doesn't take long at all to get really really tall the problem is i'm not sure there's anything you can directly build onto a ladder so we'll need to figure out another plan entirely so while i think about what's next i'm basically just going to build the second floor on my raft because i don't want to be down here on the water like some kind of peasant and we're going to use a ladder right here to move ourselves up and down nice and quick and that's much better we finally have a bit of a surface to work off of but naturally it still needs to be a lot taller but I kind of like that system. It's nice and quick and we can build three pillars tall fairly easily. So then if we add a little ladder but point it the right way, well then just like that we can have ourselves an entirely new layer to work with. I can already feel this one getting way out of hand way quick. But this has only taken me five minutes and we're halfway up that island. Already we're at the point where the seagulls are flying below me. That's usually a sign that we're about 3% of the way to our goal. I can't even imagine what this looks like from down below right now. I also forgot where I put my ladder so I think I probably blocked myself up. Anyways, now we're about as tall as that tower. And in case you're wondering, the raft currently looks like that. Uh, it's definitely getting wider every layer because of the nature of the pillars and my lack of planning, but I think it's beautiful so far. So let's see how maneuverable this thing is. We're pointed roughly in the right direction automatically, so let's turn those engines on for just a little bit to sail us gently closer to the raft. We'll know when we get there because we're gonna hit it, and I guess it's good in a way the way we built because, uh, Whoops. Because the base of the raft is going to be somewhere way out here, the top of the raft is going to be inwards, so we're that much closer to where we need to go. So I'm going to gently reapproach this island, but I'm going to try and do it from the side. That way we have a bit of a straighter path on to where we want to go. And while it may be quick, it's not what I would call super maneuverable. But I think that's about close enough, so we're going to try and raise the anchor and get ourselves pointed in the right direction. I may have added too many planks already because the engine doesn't seem able to push this along. Luckily, I do have a solution for that as well. I'm not sure how many we're going to need but for now we'll do a few. As we learned before, you can never have too many engines. But I'm gonna do them less long and more broad, that way I can still maneuver this idiot. The game is already starting to get a little unhappy with what we're doing, but I'm gonna try and get myself just a little closer, the anchor should be down. Well, we're this close to where we need to be, I'm pretty sure I can just build myself over there, even if it's just using one of the other ones. Kind of like this, and now we're basically a boarding party, which means I can find the person, they're very impressed with my raft, take all their crap, and we can't exactly get uh, directly back onto our raft up top, but we we can just jump onto this layer and then we're on our way again. We probably won't need this again because we're going to need to expand. We're going to need to uh, explore bigger islands than this. And it was recently brought to my attention that you can do horizontal wooden pillars so we're definitely absolutely going to break everything with that. For now, we need to see how long it takes us to get to 6954. 6954 is on the map. It is 1907 meters the other direction. So let's see if we have the engine power to get ourselves turned. Whoops. So as I was saying, we're going to see if we can get this engine turned around and pointed in the direction we want to go. Next stop, Blue Island thing. Whoops. Uh, there's another island coming by. See, we'll be there before you know it. In fact, I think we're pretty much already there. But I think we're also stuck on something, but that took us a few seconds to get the two... Well, we went 
1500 meters. But then we suspiciously stopped because we ran into this little moron. Out of all the things we managed to hit, that was it. Anyways, the island is now dead ahead by 600 meters, so let's, whoops, might have to correct that steering just a little. Okay, it's now 400 meters. We're gonna get 400 meters in, okay, this thing does not want to steer in a straight line. I saw it for a second, there's where we're headed, the ship. So obviously we're more than tall enough to get up there. We're going to nestle ourselves in right about here, simply mostly because we can, and drop the anchor. And then we're probably actually about the right height to just kind of build ourselves out this way. We'll be able to drop onto the raft, uh, maybe not get back onto it from the other side, but we'll see how this goes. Right across to this part, now we're going to build a little piece, apparently only in this direction for some reason. I don't know why it's not letting me build back the other way, but I wouldn't blame the game for being mad at me at this point. But this does actually give me kind of a really fun idea. I've also gone ahead and increased my movement speed a lot, just because we don't need to spend time slowly walking around. We've got a story to complete. So if I'm understanding this correctly, you can build outwards from your raft, but not really back towards it. Well, you can, but you need to basically create a little loop, which is kind of what we're going to be doing. Wow, that's really annoying. As I was saying. So I'm going to build a second little thing. Uh, that way I can get myself back off of the ship if need be. Basically, it's supposed to be the same thing. You get here, you work your way from the bottom, work your way through the whole ship. Uh, until you get to where the captain sits and pick up a new note. Which tells you where we're going next, Balboa. Along with some other probably interesting stuff that we don't need to take a look at here. We need to hopefully jump back on our very enormous and strangely shaped raft and head to Balboa. Which is probably in that direction. The new magic number is 74. 59, which looks something like that. Okay, there's blue signals there and there. I'm not entirely sure why. That's probably not the biggest deal in the world, considering we have the ability to explore all of them rather quickly as long as we don't get ourselves stuck in an island. Wait, I think we're free. Okay, there we go. We're going to make our way very wiggly like to the next island. This is supposed to take a long time, but I think we're there. Yep, there it is. Um... Good, this is a bigger island, so we're going to need to expand on our raft. Probably means for now, those are going to have to go elsewhere. Or just hang out there. The important thing is we have to build upwards now and I'm really excited about that. So let's orient our little raft towards the new island. There we go and engines off, drop anchor there. So we can really just stab right into the island like that, huh? Anyways, we've got to go up. I wonder if this is the tallest island. I hope not. Well, the raft is getting pretty big in case you were wondering. But now that I look at it like that, I realize we have a long ways to go. And now since I'm about to finish this layer, I think I could probably focus on building up more so than out. Because I think by the time I get our base close enough to wherever we're going, we should be able to step onto the island. So starting right about here, we're going to have a thinner design because I don't need all this real estate yet. And now that I've come this far, I realize there's probably a much, much easier way to build this. It's going to be quicker. Because I can definitely build up high very quickly. If I stop here and look down, you're going to see we're well above the island. Uh, at least most most of it, there is still a tower over there, so we need to go a little bit higher. I realize how high we are now because it takes 10 minutes just to walk to the bottom. But if I place these planks going up now without falling to my death, then I can build these layers every three segments all the way up, and then my raft is this tall. And so to give that a little bit of perspective, that's where we were, and that's where we are now, all the way up here. And <laughs> we've still got a long ways to go. Even standing from what I'm gonna call the upper deck, it's still a lot higher to get to the top of my tower. So now are we high enough to make it to the tower? It looks like we're more than high enough at this point, so I'm gonna build my Myself that way and we'll see what happens. And I've just realized for the first time that these are like all way directional so I can only build them in one direction in the direction that I'm facing. Really wish I had known that a little bit sooner. So let's go for one sketchy little run towards the furthest antenna. Luckily I have immaculate balance but I've never seen the island from above. Normally it takes forever to find your way across it all but if you can just kind of fly over it all the better. So from here we probably just need to make sort of an abrupt right. I would feel a little better having a little bit of this under me at times. It really is only a matter of time before I fall but I want to try and make it as far as I can before that happens because that's going to be really really annoying. And I think since this is the tallest island we're going to bring this part of our raft with us everywhere we go. <laughs> We're so far from our original raft, you can't even see it anymore. You can just make it out in the distance again. How did that not kill me? I fell all the way from there. I do keep forgetting that when I fall, I can no clip myself back to the top. So it's still annoying, but not nearly as annoying as I thought it was. I've definitely got to be a little bit careful at this point because the game is getting laggy probably due to the uh, massive raft, so I'd build myself off the edge more than I should. Anyways, the walkway is more or less complete to the far tower. Uh, my raft is somewhere way down there. You can't really see it very well right now. 
but we can make it to the tower to progress the story. This would be so much easier than just traversing the island you just build right over top and drop yourself on down onto the satellite dish, where we find this guy chilling on a mattress. Okay, we earned ourselves one Johnny, and also no way to properly get back to our raft if we want to. So if we didn't have mods, we'd actually have to build to the appropriate height or thereabouts. Luckily for us, I'm a filthy cheater, so this works exceptionally fast. Yeah, we just gotta line ourselves up for that tower, which is a little bit lower down, so we can build from a more appropriate build height, which is probably something like this. We should be able to get back onto this one, or at the very least, we'll be reasonably close to that. Well, you know what? That's fine. The raft doesn't make a lot of physical sense, but it works beautifully, which means I can pick up everything that's in this tower, which includes the note for Balboa Island. Turning this one on, I realize I forgot to turn on the other one over there, but after getting that sorted out, it's just one more tower to go, which is about the same elevation as this one. So that means I should be able to build basically straight this way and then straight to the right and directly to where I need to go, all while completely defying the laws of physics. But once this is done, this is going to be a very effective raft. In fact, it already is. You can basically sail to almost any island and walk onto any point you wish. Plus, it gets you from island to island in an absolute instant. Wow, I really missed with this one. To be fair, it was an awfully long distance to have to cover at a guesstimate. Plus, I mean, if you want precision engineering, you're in the wrong spot. I wonder what the game's gonna think of this when we start trying to sail it. Anyways, after taking a second to, uh, admire my handiwork, let's do this dish. So we'll flip on the power and we get a new note. 0108, which is our next destination, so for as far as we're concerned, we're out of this island. The best part was I barely had to actually set foot on the island, we basically hovered above it on our super raft. But since I am up this high, I figured I'd make a few little improvements to this upper floor. Now I'm pretty sure I was facing this way when I came in, so I should be able to steer it from up here should I want to, but we've got to head to the next island at 0108. I'm not sure if it's supposed to be showing me three, four different islands on there, but what am I going to do about that? We need to see if this raft is actually like maneuverable. I don't know how this is going to work. I feel like I added enough wood to it. We might need to increase the engines because they're not as quick as they used to be. But this raft probably has a few different unique problems and challenges to overcome. But for a second, let's just let it slowly get oriented. We'll get it pointed in the right direction, then we'll try and go straight. I love how we're 300 meters from the island, but the raft is still very much over and across the entire thing. We've just about got ourselves lined up. We're at least pointed in this direction, so I just need to find a way to increase our speed. Oh, never mind. I think I did it. Uh, I don't know why we're spinning wildly out of control. So if we just want to maybe uh, not do that game, thank you. Okay, I guess we're just going to try and navigate somewhat like this because the game doesn't really seem to know where it's going or what it's doing for some reason. Long story short, we got caught in the little alcove, but we can take a second to admire the mighty raft. I'm also not entirely sure what this is or where it came from, but we put a pole all the way to the ground somehow. For now, I've got to get this colossal thing out of here and point it in the right direction, so we're going to paddle the entire thing out of here. I never realized too that part of my steering problem was that the original steering wheels point that way, this one points this way because I'm stupid. Anyways, I think we've got the room we need to clear the island, so I'm going to start the engines first. Then I'm going to try and steer myself a little bit away and raise the anchor, and yep, there we go. You can see by the radar we're moving, I just don't know where. I lost track of which dots are which, so we're just going to head for whatever the nearest blue dot is, drop the anchor, the game lagged, and I think I circled back around to the same island I was at. Probably going to need to navigate from this lower spot. Oh, but lots of the dots have disappeared for some reason, so we're going for that one. Uh, just kidding, we're set to the wrong thing. Or or maybe we're not. All right, whatever. We'll take this wildly dysfunctional raft and try and get it to the one over there. The anchor is up and we're going to start. Okay, it's too fast. <laughs> well, maybe it's not. Which one was it? This one over here? Back we go. I'm just starting the engine for a second to try and make it not. There we go. Perfect. Let's drift on in nice and slow. Come on. Is this the right one? It's 300 meters that way. Like the raft should be touching it really. Is that the radio tower again? We found our way back to the radio tower somehow. So a quick reset of the game later. And we've made it to Caravan Town. Our raft is just too tall. But at least from here we can get our bearings. And after a quick look from an outside perspective, I see I just need to turn my raft a little bit for the boarding party. So I'm going to do my best to kind of steer it over to this side. It is very quick, so it's a little bit hard to control. Uh, in fact, I actually need to turn on the radar in case I get too far away from the island and need to to find it again because it's very hard to steer this thing and almost got oh uh, now we're going the wrong way again so the problem i'm finding with having a raft this fast is that i can get to the island but i tend to bounce off as soon as i get there and that bounces me back the wrong direction but i think i got it lined up now one way or another so i could definitely walk onto the island as i want and i can jump right back off onto my raft in fact, this platform is basically the basis I would need to get around without using zip lines at all. Then after borrowing the mayor's chest key, we can open the mayor's chest, which comes with the note to Kangaroo. I do actually really enjoy this place. 
but we've got a quest to complete. And look at that, there's a path directly back to my raft somehow. So the new number is 6770, which adds a new blue dot to the radar. So we need to go 2336 meters that way. What is that the current gently take us away from the island because it's kind of impossible otherwise? I'm just going to sit back, eat some shark, and enjoy the ride. Now that we're a little bit out to open water, let's see if we can get to that blue dot. Once we're in the open ocean, it's kind of easier to get there. So what do we have to go a few thousand meters? Shouldn't take long and we're past it. Nope, it's right there. Okay, we found the dome fairly easily. Uh, we just got to get there and drop the anchor. Perfect-ish. Okay, if I drop the anchor and I'm steering hard to the right, that might actually sort of work. Okay, I managed to, to maneuver that way. We'll see how it looks up top. We might be able to get into the dome that way. Because I really am trying to have a one-size-fits-all raft that can just accomplish every quest island in a hurry. That might actually be pretty good. We're built kind of on the wrong side, but we have the height we need. I love how long it takes us to climb this. Height-wise, we're actually more than tall enough, so that's a good sign. We can get to the top of the dome very easily. Uh, I suppose we don't need to go to the top of the dome, but I kind of want to see the top of the dome. Uh, we're going to use this professional building method to get ourselves there. To be honest, this is probably the better way of doing it. Build low, then up. That way you can jump onto there and then back off again when you want to return to your raft. And you can even build like this off of those roof panels. Excellent. I like to report there's absolutely nothing of interest on the very top of the dome. Interesting me, I think if we go at the same height we did for the other island, that's probably going to work perfectly. Just as long as I don't fall off. You can see the whole dome city and all the skyscrapers below me. That's fun. There this worked out perfectly because now what we got to do is add a roof and we can get both on and off our raft. Plus by the time we're done our raft is going to have so many different arms that we'll be able to land on any island and we'll naturally be able to go anywhere we want to go. And of course this is the exit you're supposed to do it all from the inside. Luckily for me I don't have to play by the rules today so we can just kind of reverse engineer this place. Because all I'm really after is a note to get us to the next island which I'm pretty sure is this one. It is not. But after quick googling 4813 uh and then it's time for the bridge launch which has basically removed the roof remembering now that after the top of the dome blows off it lands in the water over here where we need to go investigate i liked it better when it was up there and our reward for completing all this is elaine elaine has a lot of fun things to say but i'm mostly just here for the notes the note i needed was right here i couldn't see it because i was running in that direction now to see if i can find my little raft against the mightiness of the dome kind of suits it sitting there like that so currently those two dots are there on the radar and the new one appeared 1989 meters that way so in order to get that we're gonna have to break a few land speed records we're gonna pull the anchor whoops i think it was still this one okay i don't know what's happening now now i'm not entirely sure which one it was also my battery died so we're gonna go ahead and uh, recycle those and put a new one in. I won't lie, I was kind of expecting a uh, bigger island than this. I mean, I guess it's pretty big, but I hardly need to build any more raft to get through it all. Naturally, we want to start at the top because it's very easy for us to get there. So we just got to build like three tiles and we're at the top, which leaves us with the note, but not the note we're looking for yet. Climbing the crane, however, we're a little bit higher with hopefully a new note for a new island. But after making your way through all the crane and parkour you find yourself to the bottom of this other building where there's a note on the table which points you to temperance which is code 4104 that's only 1800 meters that way the raft kind of has its own ideas where it wants to go right now luckily i'm in charge so we're hopefully going to get pointed in a straight direction and teleport there by going a thousand miles an hour well think about it like this it's 1800 meters and we're there Nope, this is the wrong island. We gotta go around this island. All right, we just gotta maneuver out of this little jam and we're back on track. Gentle steering is the key. There's the island we need. The one with all the snow and ice on it. Drop anchor, whoops. Did I drop the anchor? Nope. I've naturally made the choice of using X as the drop anchor button. The problem with that is that's the same as destroy button. My big long things are off that side. So I just kind of got to go a little bit this way, a little more to the other side. And then I think we'll be sitting nicely above the island. So, well, then again, whatever we can't reach, we can build to. But I'm pretty sure I don't really even need to touch this island. I can just take my raft there. This raft is equally capable over land or water. I'm not really sure where I'm headed with this one. So I think for now, I'll actually build from this deck because then we can build up and I see something way in the distance. We've sailed all the way to the Arctic and it took us 10 seconds. Then we just got to build up a little bit to say here. Then we'll build over sort of this way. I just need to be able to get back onto the raft. But I can jump back onto that easy enough. This I think is what we probably need to explore. All right, idiot, give me all your secrets. Requires electrical cable. Everything here seems to want power. I did, however, find a snowmobile. So that could definitely lead to some fun. Okay, here. Oh. 
So you just gotta slowly pick up the electrical cable. This is supposed to be a challenge because the bear is supposed to be eating you, but I'm faster than the bear so I can nose bonk him and run away. I'm a little bit curious about the nuclear plant though, and there's a snowmobile waiting for me here. Selene? Selene? We need a blowtorch to get in. So we'll see where we can find that. It's faster for me to run than use a snowmobile. I hear an angry bear. Stupid. I also found an underground bunker full of radioactive stuff. Probably gonna need a little bit of gear before getting in that one. Instead of dragging the cables around everywhere, I realize it's probably easier to just do this. I could just look through the buildings. We grab the cables. This is close enough. I found the missing blowtorch we need in the main building. And there's just sort of a lot of fun treasure lying around here. But I mostly just want to take a second again to admire my raft, but also find out what's behind the blowtorch door. And also see what this mysterious little building is. There's a note here for three quarters of a hook. And here there's clearly some kind of telescope puzzle you need to put the constellations into the telescope in some particular order which according to the book one two three four so i'm pretty sure this is a four digit code that you put into that safe i'm pretty sure you need to count how many stars make up each constellation that seems to have done the job and we get this saline key plus there's also a basement to this place but i'm pretty sure this is where i'm supposed to come in from you're just supposed to dive through the icy tunnels dealing with those idiots but clearly obviously this is something very important luckily we have the blowtorch we need and the key coincidentally we happen to pick up hiding behind the research facility is probably going to be more bears Ooh, maybe we get to drive the island now that would be fun this place isn't having a lot of fun. Insert control rods. I just realized what we're looking at and that looks expensive and fun to play with. So to do this, we're supposed to put on hazmat suits. But I'm also going to no clip just to make this easier. All we got to do is find a few little things, I'm pretty sure. <laughs> well, there's definitely a few different things going on as I get lower. The bugs don't like me. I don't think they can touch me, though. So we're going to rotate this thing smoothly. <laughs> I mean, what's the worst could it, that could happen? We're only playing with like a hadron collider. And good news, the radiation is starting to get to me. I guess my hazmat suit isn't as good as we thought. Whatever I did made everything shake and made the radiation go away. I guess I'm not a crippling failure after all. Which brings us to a room that looks like I can probably freeze myself in. Just what I always wanted. Or head to Utopia at 8500. I mean, I did build a pretty cool raft, but let's see what this does. Oh, we're letting someone out of freezing. Hi, Shogo. Okay, apparently we're bringing Shogo with us. I just wanted to take a look around just to see what we're actually supposed to be picking up. Well, we finished this island in a hurry thanks to shooting. And I always know how to find my way back to my raft. If I can't jump directly onto it, I just look into the sky and follow it. It's beautiful. Utopia 8500, which is another 2,000 meters beyond this island. So we're gonna have to once again make our way around an island through the icebergs. We might be stuck. Nope, never mind. They eventually spit you out. So we'll go around the island. Try and get our bearings again. Now it's 2200 meters, but at least we're sort of on the right track. Off we go. Okay, there's more. We got to get way away from the stupid island. There we go. I think we're back to the open ocean. 2000 meters was covered pretty much that fast. Engines are off. Utopia. That doesn't look like Utopia. But that looks like something my raft can easily conquer. So we'll bring it in close and good to go there. Drop the anchor. So let's see if this raft is already set up for these tall skyscrapers or if we need to go up more. So actually looks like we did a wildly good job to start i want to jump onto this roof and see what exactly they're hiding up here i just ran into some dude and he ran away and disappeared i think we're just going to take my raft to the top that sounds easier than fighting through all this i mean the whole point is to build a raft that just makes it all really really easy like i can already see fun stuff up there all these islands must be similar size because a lot of these just simply kind of work but this is definitely a lot easier than you know fighting my way through everything to get up to this point uh i seem to have hit some kind of Oh, something I can stand on, strangely. I don't know what that's about. Pretty sure getting in there to him is supposed to be like the ultimate goal here. There's just an invisible barrier that won't really let us in. But if I turn on no clip, we can see the many positions we're supposed to encounter him in. And I'm pretty sure we're just supposed to follow him all the way to the top of the building. Oh, okay. So here's the final scene. Oh, he's going to fall. Oh, he didn't even fall that far. What a baby. Pick up master key. Thank you. That's embarrassing. If I had a spear, I'd stab you right now. But it's more fun to leave you there to slowly starve to death. Titanium tools? I didn't know you could make titanium tools. There's so much fun new stuff to play with today. Okay, now where do we use his very special key? And this should be my new raft office because this one's kind of my style. Okay, I finally found where to use the master key all the way down here at the bottom. We had to get that from Idiot Stick, so it's got to be a good one. So that appears to be the end of this storyline. We now have built a utopia 
with people and all the resources you could ever want. It's all just lying here for the taking. So naturally, we're going to find a way to ruin it and probably end up in one of these things. But that's definitely thanks in large part to my raft that really can beat the game in about five minutes due to its incredible size and speed. Simply sail to your location in light speed, jump onto the top of the island, grab the note real quick, sail to the next one, off you go, till you're here in Utopia ready to ruin it.